Today, let's look at installing DocHub on a student account and then how we used it in creative writing today and how you might use it in another class somewhere. So first video in the series, get to my student account, get into her email account and see all the assignments she hasn't done from the classes that she's got. So this is what we looked at. Here's our new piece of material. We read this first chapter from a Stephen King writing book because we're talking about writers and what they know about writing. When we open this up, we've got some options. Okay, previously we've opened some things in Kami, which works, it's one way of doing it. Today we're gonna use an extension called DocHub. If you already have it, it'll already be in here connected. See like Kami is. We haven't used it in this account. So we're gonna go over here to connect more apps, just like you will do the very first time. And you can search for it for a good long time. There are tons of applications that do this. Here's the one that I know. We're gonna search DocHub. And you're going to find it. It's a way to edit and sign PDF documents. It is one of many. It has almost all five of its stars. I really like it for the way that it interacts. So it's been connected. Now I'm going to go up here with open with and say Doc Hub. It's going to open it up in Doc Hub. So I've added that extension. I'm going to give it permission to get into my account, add itself to Google, view and manage some things, save stuff wherever it needs to. And you can allow, follow those through. The first time through, you'll have to allow everything. After that, it's in your Chrome experience and you'll have it with whatever else it is that you wanna use it with. And so that's the first step. Get DocHub connected to your Google account. Once you've done that, you're ready for the next video where I'll show you how to use it.